Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we'll draw this model, this simple model in FreeCAD. So this will be a practical exercise, and here we'll use space of power design and sketch workbench to create this model in FreeCAD. Okay, so first here we need a new document. So click in this icon to create a new document, and here in the workbench selector, select power design workbench, and now create a new body and a new sketch. And for this sketch here, according to the string here, we'll select X, Y, plane because we want to draw this sketch here. Okay, so here select X, Y, plane. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like in this video. I also have a Ko-Fi page in which you can donate to support the channel if you want. Link to this page can be found in the description of this video. Thank you. And now here in the sketch workbench, go to sketch geometries, these tools here and here. Click in this arrow and free select rounded rectangle. And now draw this rectangle as you can see. And next select this cycle tool. Click in this origin point and draw this cycle. Okay. And now select the string tool. Trim these two lines and now these two arcs. Okay, and next is later this fillet tool and make a fillet in these two lines. And now we have this. So here we have 16 degrees of freedom. So first here what we'll do, we'll make these four arcs equal. So first select these four arcs. Okay, and set equal. Okay, and now we have this, and as you can see, this line and this line here must be horizontal. So select these two lines, and now the horizontal constraint. And now we have this, and this degrees of freedom here. So next, here select this smart group tool, and now this point here, and this point, and next, this origin point and now we have this and these two lines here we set tangent okay and next here let's set the dimension of the sketch here so here in the string page we can see the dimensions so we have a range of 10 for this arc here we have 5 for these arcs so let's constrain these arcs. So first here select this constraint here and now click in this edge and set a range of five. And for this edge here we'll set five. And this arc here we'll set 20. Okay, and now just select this horizontal constraint and now this point here and this end point of this line, okay? And now select equal constraint, select this line here and this line. So now we have three degrees of freedom. So what we'll do next here? Next here we'll set this vertical dimension and this horizontal dimension here. So let's do that. Select vertical distance tool and now this point and this point here and set 28 and now select horizontal distance tool. Select these two end points and here we'll set the length of 85. And now as you can see we have one degree of freedom. So what do you have to do is to constrain this point here. So for this point here we can select tangent constraint and next select these two lines. Okay, and as you can see now the sketch is full constrained. So now we can close the sketch. And now press home and select pet tool. And now we'll set a length of, of five. We'll set a length of five for this pet operation. Okay, so change here to five millimeters and now click OK. And next here what we'll do, we'll make this fillet here with this radius here. So now, what to do here, just select this edge here and go to the fillet tool. And now, as you can see, we have a fillet here in this bottom face. 
and the value of this radius is one millimeter so click OK and the next step here is to make this this pocket here to create this pocket here we use the thickness tool so here what to do free select this top face here and now this thickness tool and next check this option here and the value of the thickness here will be will be let's see here the value of the thickness will be one millimeters so here we'll set one and here in the joint type we we change to this option here and now as you can see we have this pocket here so next you click ok now as you can see we have this part here and the next step here is to next here we'll create this part here as you can see so what we'll do here here we'll create a new sketch so let's do that clicking this icon here to create a new sketch and for this sketch here select xy plane so I'll select yz plane and now what to do see to section view okay clicking this icon here and now what to do go to sketch geometers and clicking this arrow here and select rectangle tool and now here just draw this rectangle okay and let's go to the string page and here we can see the dimensions of this rectangle so first here we have this horizontal dimension 0 0.6 so first select this horizontal distance tool and set 0 0.6 for this line here and and now here we can see this distance here between this line to the stop line here 1.5 so what we'll do here here we'll select this vertical distance tool and then we'll select this origin point and now this end point here and we'll set 1.5 millimeters okay and okay it's all so now close this sketch and now here we'll change the attachment of this sketch so go to model and here select this sketch here and now print click on mouse and select attachment editor and here click in this button and now what to do select this edge here and measure two three and now click ok and now double click here and switch to section view again and what we'll do here here will set the length of this line here so select this vertical distance tool and now this line here and for this line here we'll set the length of 5.8 millimeters so now we have this and this sketch is full constrained so now close this sketch and now go to go to additive tools and select this additive pipe tool and now click in this button here to add edges and now what to do just click OK and as you can see now we have this part here and next here what we'll do next here we'll create this pocket here as you can see here we we'll create this pocket so here in this model just select this space here and create a new sketch and in this sketch here, go to sketch geometers and select slot tool and here draw this slot. Okay, and now we'll set the dimensions of this slot here. So let's go to the string page and here we can see all dimensions. So here we have three millimeters and we have this distance here. 
so what to do here first you will select horizontal distance tool and then these two points here and you will set the length of 3 okay and now we have to set the distance between this center point to this edge here so first here select this external geometry tool and extra this edge here and now select vertical distance tool and now these two points and here we'll set three millimeters as you can see here three so now leave the sketch close and then select the sketch here and make a pocket here and now as you can see we have this pocket here so click ok and now we can create this we can create this part here so what to do here select this face here and create a new sketch and here we'll draw two rounded rectangles for this part here so what to do go to sketch geometers and click in this arrow and now select rounded rectangle and next draw this rectangle hide these constraints here and select symmetrical tool and now select these two center points and this origin point okay and now we have this rectangle centered to this origin point and now let's set the size of this rounded rectangle so here in the string page we can see a ridge of 2.5 and we have this horizontal dimension here 25 and 20 here for the vertical dimension so what we'll do here first select this constraint cycle and now click in this arc here and set 2.5 2.5 and next select this horizontal distance tool now these two points here and set 25 and now select vertical distance tool select these two points here and set 20 okay and now we have this rounded rectangle full constrained so now hide these constraints here and next go to sketch geometers again and select rounded rectangle tool again and draw this rectangle okay and now select this mat tool again and now these two points as you can see and this origin point okay and now we have three degrees of freedom so first here what we'll do here we'll set the rates of this arc here and then we'll set these two arcs equals to we'll set these two lines here equal to this line here and this line so first here select this constraint diameter and for this fillet here we'll set here we'll set the rates of one because here the the thickness of these parts here is 1.5 so for this arc here we'll set one millimeter and now select this equal constraint select these two lines and now make these two lines equal so now as you can see we have this sketch full constrained so close now and select add tool and here we'll set the length of for this pad here we'll set the length of 6 so here change to 6 and now click OK and now what we'll do we'll create these pockets here in these parts these four pockets so here first here we'll select this face and now create a new sketch for in this face here and what we'll do here in this sketch we'll draw Four rectangles so go to sketch geometers and click in this arrow and select centered rectangle and now click in this line here and draw this rectangle okay and now we'll set the size of these rectangles so here in the string page here we see 10 and 10 millimeters 
so here we'll set these rectangles equals okay so let's select these lines these four lines here and set equal and now just select this horizontal distance tool select this line here and set 10 millimeters okay and now just move this point here and this line and close this sketch and now click on the pocket icon and now as you can see we have these four pockets and the length of these pockets here is five millimeters as you can see here five millimeters so now click ok and now as you can see we have this part here and what we'll do next here next we'll create these two cylinders and then these two treated holes so first here select this face and create a new sketch this face here select cycle tool in sketch geometries and draw these two cycles and now we'll set these two cycles similar to this vertical line so select this tool here and now these two center points and this vertical line and now we'll set these two cycles equal okay and next let's set the diameter of this cycle so here we see a diameter of 10 so select this constraint here and set 10 and now we have to set the distance between these two center points and here we can see 60 so select the horizontal distance tool now these two center points and set 60 and now leave this sketch close and make a path here and the length of this pad here will set 10 millimeters so he will set 9 millimeters so change this value here to 9 and then click ok and now as you can see we have these two cylinders here and next here we'll create these treated holes so the reference of these treated holes is m4 so here just select these two face and now click on this hole tool and here as you can see we have these holes here but we want these these two holes to be treated holes so what do we do so what we do here we go to profile and here we change to isometric regular profile and we check this option and this option here and next we change the size to m4 okay and here we'll set We'll change this dimension here so here as we can see is 7 here so first here let's change to 7 and now scroll down and here check this option flip and what to do now click ok and now as you can see we have these three the holes here in the correct way so as you can see we finished the design of this model here